Hello, I'm Donald Leggett, and welcome to the latest London Southeast CEO interview. I'm joined today by Catherine Rowe, CEO at Wentworth Resources, the Tanzania focused natural gas production company, who are listed on AIM and one of the few EMP juniors to pay a dividend. After a two year sales process, Wentworth have struck a deal to purchase the Ravuma gas asset in Tanzania from Scirocco Energy. Meanwhile, having achieved record production levels in 2021, Wentworth have followed that up with even stronger daily production rates in 2022. Greetings, Catherine. Thank you, Donald. Very nice to see you again. It's a real pleasure. It's been a while. But I have to say, look at those results. You're cooking on gas. Yes, well, thank you. Very, very proud of the strong performance, uh, particularly since you and I last had an opportunity to talk. So thanks very much. Um, I think it's showing that the existing uh, field, our existing gas field uh, is producing far in excess, excess of our expectations. And uh, we're looking to build on that. I think you guys have been working very hard to, uh, to keep the gas flowing so cleanly, though, to be fair. Yeah, particularly during some difficult years that we've all experienced. You know, we've, we, we obviously had uh, slightly lower volumes during 2020 with COVID, but we've certainly seen that demand picking up. And I think what's really interesting and exciting for us in Tanzania is seeing that industrialization of the economy that's really going to drive that additional demand. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been incredibly successful so far. OK, well done you. Um, so let's take you to the proposed purchase of the Ruma gas field, the, the, the gas asset in Tanzania. Uh, it was a well-kept secret from me. Uh, so well done for that. Two years. You, it's been two years in the making, that deal. We've been, we've been talking to, uh, to Tom and the Sirocco team for, for a little while. Um, really pleased to be able to structure something that works for both parties. Um, I think that's that's been a real success. We've worked really well together to achieve something that I think uh, represents the right structure uh, for Wentworth and for Sirocco. So um, really pleased to have been able to to get to a stage where we could reach an agreement and uh, and as you say, Donald, be able to talk about it publicly. Okay, uh, let's let, let's uh, talk us through the gas asset and why you think it makes such a good fit with Manazi Bay. Yeah, so, well, well, thanks for that question, because it, it, we do think that it's strategically perfect for Wentworth. Uh, as you know, we have our gas producing asset in Manazi Bay and Ravuma is adjacent right next door uh, as an appraisal and development uh, gas uh, license at, at the moment. So there has been a discovery. Um, we do think it's world, potentially world class asset in the same way that we have with Manazi Bay. Um, I think we really want to be able to use all our, our experience um, subsurface and above grounds, using our stakeholder relations to really develop that Ravuma asset. So it should fit very perfectly with Manazi Bay. Um, and I think we're a natural partner. We're a non-operated partner in Manazi Bay. This is a non-operated uh, working interest in Ravuma. So we're very used to working in that way, but actually trying to add value into the JV uh, in a non-operated um, position. So we think it's it's got a very good chance of, of, of being a high quality producing gas field like we're seeing in Manazi Bay, we're looking at similar volumes um, that we're currently producing in Manazi Bay, certainly at, at, at the beginning of the development. And, um, and I think that we can leverage all of our 10 year plus track record next door uh, to enable the successful development of that license. That okay, asset. if you could talk us through the sales process, uh, it actually took two years and it wasn't all plain sailing. You weren't actually the initial preferred bidder, if I understand. That was a private equity business who pulled out. So would you say the process, the sales process was quite nerve wracking, in fact? I think there are different drivers when you're a public company. Uh, you can be more flexible in consideration structures as a, as a private business. And, and the, the counterparty that Sirocco were engaged with previously um, would have different, different uh, uh, drivers and, and, and ability to maybe be more flexible um, than a company like Wentworth, where we are in the public domain and we have to be very conscious of dilution for our existing shareholders, uh, the funding capability, we also have to make sure that we prioritise um, our, our existing commitments as well. Uh, so, as you know, we've got ongoing uh, capital uh, requirements in Manazi Bay. We pay our dividend, as you mentioned at the beginning. So it's about balancing all of that. And um, it's been a very uh, in enjoyable experience uh, in dealing with, with Sirocco and, and the team there. 
um, it's it, there's been no uh, no difficult uh, discussions or hostility. Um, but I think it sort of came to the point where it's the right time for both parties uh, in a right in the right structure, um, given the the alternatives available. And if you if you could briefly talk us through how the deal has been constructed with progress related payments and also the very important loan element, if you could talk us through that, please. Sure. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's important. Uh, it was important for both of us to have an upfront consideration uh, that acknowledged uh, that that asset is being sold. Um, so we were very happy to to offer um, that initial three million dollars on completion to uh, as, the, as the first piece of consideration. But I think really important was we, we need from Wentworth's perspective, we need to see that field developed and perform uh, in line with the way that we've modelled it and our expectations. And, in, and the flip side to that is that it's only right to give Sirocco shareholders a share of that upside um, when it materialises. So the, the deferred and contingent staged payments of the of the transaction are really designed to achieve that. So when the field performs, uh, we will part pay some of that consideration to Sirocco and it helps Wentworth because at that point we've de-risked it. So it should be very fair for both parties at that stage. Um, we've also, as you say, entered into a loan arrangement um, with Sirocco. And, and again, that was important um, for both of us. Uh, important because it, it, we are lending Sirocco their share of cash calls uh, throughout this, this work program um, that, that we've been talking about. It's $6.25 million for a 25% uh, working interest, which is the, the, the Sirocco piece that, that we're acquiring. That enables Sirocco to fund their cash calls and enable them to be able to meet their obligations. And for us, it allows us to continue with the work program without any um, lack of continuity or any delays. Uh, so we're all motivated to keep that work programme on track. And, and that's really the essence of the loan facility. It's a very elegant solution for Sirocco not to have to go back to their shareholders or, or, or go out and, 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 you know, raise money through replacing and dilute. I mean, it, it strikes me as being positive. I think so. Yeah, I think the dilution required uh, for Sirocco to fund that work program organically uh, would be quite significant for existing shareholders. Uh, and we we have the cash and, and want to reinvest back into Tanzania in the domestic gas space. That is our core business. That is our strategy. So, so we're very comfortable um, lending into a scenario like this where it's an asset we believe deserves development. Uh, deserves pursuing um, and it, it, as I said if we can structure it in a way that that helps both parties that's what I, that's what I feel we've, we've been able to achieve here. Okay so let, let me ask you uh, you're a mature gas producer in Tanzania you have stable revenues you've close ties with the government it strikes me that you're always going to be in a stronger position to make that asset work than than Chiroka ever could I mean you, you this is your core business but it's, it's not their core business. I, I, Absolutely. And um, we wouldn't be any good at um, developing a gas field in another jurisdiction. You know, we this is our business. This is what we do well. Um, we are very excited technically ab about the asset, which, which is clearly why we've been in discussions for a little while. Um, we know the above ground landscape. We know the stakeholders. We have these very strong government relationships, as, as you say. And, and, and we can make it successful. That is what we do. Um, we wouldn't be any good anywhere else. And so it's, it's horses for courses. Sirocco will be able to achieve their own strategy uh, that they've set out and, and hopefully can execute on that uh, and, and will continue with our strategy. And um, they're not better or worse, they're just different. And I think what the, one of the, the great things about our, our equity markets is that investors have choices and you can choose to invest in a number of different things depending on, on your appetite. So I think it's, a, it's a, 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 good, a good transaction for everybody. Okay, and that's not to me to say that uh, there aren't significant milestones still to be achieved uh, before potential first gas in late 2024. Uh, you know, some, some, some major things to be, hurdles to overcome, I'm sure. Um, is there still a degree of risk about the project, of geological uncertainty about the project? 
What's your perspective on that, Catherine? Yes, yes, I think I think there always is, Donald. There's always a degree of, 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 of technological, you know, geological and technical uh, risk uh, until the field has proved commercial quantities of producing, and we are not there yet. Uh, there has been discovered gas. Uh, it is a prolific gas basin. Uh, we can see that in Manazi Bay. We can also see it on the offshore gas that's been discovered. So there's a very high degree of, of confidence uh, in the partnership uh, that there will be commercial quantities of gas produced from Ravuma, which is exactly why the operator and the other partners, and hopefully us as well, are wanting to move forward with that appraisal programme, which would then lead into a development programme. And we really hope to see that first gas, uh, as you say, in, in late 2024. But we've got more work to do. Uh, we are going to be reviewing the seismic data uh, after this um, seismic campaign has, has concluded and, and ensure that we're all comfortable with the location of that well, uh, the Chikumbi one well that we expect to, to be drilled later this year or uh, is our current expectation. And then we'll see. You know, it's it's in our business. Uh, this is our business. You, you, you really only find out um, when you've done the work and completed it and, and drilled the wells. Um, so there is risk, um, but it's uh, it's the nature of how we how we 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 find more resources in our business. Is late twenty twenty four a bold a bold date to to put in the diary? Is that is that quite a short time frame? Do you think that's achievable? I think I, I, we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, we have a work program that leads to that. It's uh, it's realistic based on the current expectations of work program. Yeah, I would say. OK. And uh, what are the capex costs for developing Ruvuma? All that all, all that work, through, those workflows, those milestones, I, how much is that going to cost you? And how do you fund your proportion of those costs? So the initial work programme, which we've talked about, uh, and that's that's really what we're focusing on right now, that, that's the uh, 6.25 million net, um, 25 million gross uh, work programme. Uh, and that covers the seismic, the 3D seismic, which is the first time we've had 3D seismic onshore in Tanzania. So you know, this is also um, really interesting uh, uh, help and helpful data. That also includes the drilling of that one well that I mentioned a moment ago. I, I, and then we'll need to see what the, the rest of the development looks like. Um, the reason it makes so much sense for Wentworth uh, to add this asset at this time into our portfolio is that we are generating revenue and cash flow from Manazi Bay next door with the production. And as you said very kindly at the beginning, Donald, we're, we're experiencing really strong production volumes out of Manazi Bay. And that really allows us to, to reinvest uh, into Revuma using that generate that that uh, internally generated free free cash flow. So we are well positioned to be able to, to fund our ongoing share um, beyond the existing work program uh, into the development of, of this of this asset. Uh, given the, given the work on Revuma, what will Wentworth look like in two or three years' time? Do you think? What are your expectations there? Well, we 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 would really like to have two producing assets. So you know, we 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 really all hope that Ravuma will successfully produce uh, commercial quantities of gas. Uh, we understand the development that's required. Uh, it will be um, there will be a pipeline to Madimba, which is our gas processing facility in Manazi Bay. So you know, there's some synergies there. And uh, I would like to think that, that we're producing some two assets and um, you, you, we were able to demonstrate even higher volumes uh, than, than we are today. OK, what, my last question, what news flow can we expect over the next few months? What will Wentworth be, be telling the market? Well, we'd, we, you know, we hope for a successful completion of the transaction and then we'll be updating the market on the work program. So we are in the middle of the 3D seismic program right now. Um, we'll be updating the market when that's completed, uh, when the data has been interpreted and reviewed, um, what the consequences are in terms of the, the drilling location and updates on, on, on spudding of that, of that well. So quite a bit of news flow, um, very exciting. Obviously at the same time, we are also looking at our future investment into Manazi Bay. Uh, which is another uh, work stream that's ongoing for us here at Wentworth. And so I think there'll be news flow um, on, on both of those uh, assets uh, in the second half of this year. 
Exciting times, Catherine, exciting times. Uh, thank you very much indeed for that production update and those Ravuma deal insights. It's all, all much, much appreciated. Thank you very much indeed. And for more company information and data about Wentworth Resources, please go to the Wentworth Resources pages in London Southeast. And you can follow us on Twitter at London Southeast or register on London Southeast YouTube to receive alerts to interviews just like this one. Uh, thanks for watching. And as always, please do stay safe.